so joyous to see you here today. My name is Pastor Beth, and it is my special task today to work for the Reindeer Radio Station here at the North Pole. This is my shiny nosed boss, Rudy Reindeer. He sent me outside of the radio to find some more elves to join us in the North Pole. Since we're outside, we need to make sure our jackets are zipped up like mine. Let me see all of you zip your jackets on the count of three. One, two, three, zip! <laughs> hey, would you like to be elves and join me in the North Pole? Well, that's just jolly. We need your help in broadcasting the good news of Christmas to everyone around the world. All you have to do is jump into the radio with me. So everyone, stand up. Put on your reindeer antlers. And on the count of three, let's jump into Joy FM. Ready? Count with me. One, two, three, jump! <sighs> Woo! We made it! <laughs> I'm the DJ here at Reindeer Radio Station. Now, let's crank things up and play a song for our awesome listeners. Everybody sing along. Here we go! Sin his son, he's the savior of the world And now, we can call him friend God sent his son, he's the savior of the world And now, we can call him friend Jesus, savior, Jesus, savior Son, he's the savior of the world, and now we can call him friend. God sent his son, he's the savior of the world, and now we can call him friend. Jesus, savior, Jesus. Savior. joyful jingle for all of our listeners to hear. You can all take a seat on your rum pum pum pums. <laughs> and now that you are all part of the Reindeer Radio Station, I think that we should all see what special task Rudy Reindeer has for us today. Everybody wiggle your reindeer nose and say, Oh, Rudy! Hello to all the elves back at Reindeer Radio. I'm Rudy Reindeer, and I'm so glad you are here to help broadcast the good news of Christmas to all our listeners. Today, I'm at the shopping mall buying presents for Mrs. Rudy and my sweet son, Little Jingle. While I was shopping, I found two little shoppers at the candy counter. Please, do tell us, what are you doing with all of this candy? Well, we were going to buy it for our cousins, but it looks so yummy, we just had to have some. Did you see this sign? It says, do not eat. We did see the sign, but we wanted candy so bad, we decided to eat it anyways. 
Now kids, by eating the candy when the sign says do not eat, you have disobeyed. Does it make God sad when we disobey? Yes, sir, Rudy Reindeer. God really wants us to obey, but God loves you even if you disobey. Elves, I need you to record this special message to all of our listeners. God loves me. You record it, and I'll play it for all our listeners after my story of the day. So long for now. You've got it, Rudy. We can do that. Let's record a special message for our listeners. Before I hit the record button, let's practice saying Rudy's special message. Everyone repeat after me. God loves me. That sounded great. This time I'll count down and press record. Then we can all say it together. Ready? Three, two, one. God loves me. That was so good. You want to hear what it sounded like? I'm going to take the, the audio from everybody who said it today, even in their own homes, and I'm going to put it together. Let me see. Here we go. Let's hear it. Wow, that does sound joyfully jolly. Rudy Reindeer will broadcast that special message to all of our listeners after he reads his story of the day. And it's actually just about time for Rudy Reindeer's story of the day now. Rudy Reindeer has hooved his way back to Joy FM, and he's ready to go live. So count down with me. We're on the air in five, four, three, two. One. Hello to everyone in the North Pole. You're tuning in just in time for Rudy Reindeer's story of the day. My favorite stories come from God's Word. Does everyone out there listening know what God's Word is? The Bible! That's right. If you want to hear a Bible story, then click on your listening ears. Click, click! Now put on your special eyes. There's a story in the Bible that reminds me of the friends I met while I was out shopping. It's the story of Adam and Eve. Can everyone out there say, Adam and Eve? Adam and Eve! Good job! Adam and Eve lived in God's special garden. The garden had many trees, but there was one tree that they were not supposed to eat from. God said, Do not eat from this special tree. Now. There was a sneaky snake in the garden. Listeners, can you hiss like a snake? That's it. The snake hissed at Eve and said, Did God really tell you not to eat from this tree? The snake wanted Eve to disobey God. The fruit on the tree did look tasty, and Eve thought about what God had said, but she ate the fruit anyway. Then she gave some to Adam, and he took a bite too. Can everyone tell Adam and Eve what God said about this tree? Say, do not eat. Do not eat. Do all you listeners out there in Radio Land think God was happy or sad when Adam and Eve disobeyed? Sad. God was sad, and he didn't let Adam and Eve live in his special garden anymore. When Adam and Eve disobeyed, they messed up their friendship with God. Because God loved them, he wanted to be friends again. So God sent his own son, Jesus, to take their punishment for disobeying. Jesus came at Christmas to take the punishment for when we disobey too. God sent Jesus because God loves you and me. Now, here's a special message for you from our Reindeer Radio Elves. That was a great story, Rudy. Wow, did you hear our special message? I can't believe those were our voices going out for all to hear the good news of Christmas. That was fa-la-la fantastic. Tis the season to be jolly because God loves you and me. I really think that our listeners loved that, and I wonder what they thought about what they've heard on Reindeer Radio Station today. 
Let's take some listener phone calls. Elves, will you help me answer any questions our listeners may have? Go ahead, caller number one. You're on the air. Hey, Frosty the Snowman here. I really enjoyed Rudy Reindeer's story of the day. Now, did he say that Adam and Eve disobeyed or played in the snow all day? What's the answer, my friends? You heard it right, Frosty. Adam and Eve disobeyed when they ate the fruit from God's special tree. You're a jolly old soul, Mr. Frosty. Thanks for calling in. Did you hear that? We have another caller. Go ahead, caller number two. Well, good day, my elf friends. This is the Gingerbread Man. I was tuning in earlier and heard about the kids who ate the candy when the sign said, Do not eat. Was God sad or happy when they disobeyed? I bet my friends can answer that. How did God feel? Yes, sirree, gingerbread man. It makes God very sad when we disobey. But the good news is that God loves you and me anyway. Thank you for your call, ginger mad, gingerbread man. Have a sweet day. Goody gumdrops, we have another call coming in. <laughs> Go ahead, caller number three. Hello? Oh, hi, Mrs. Rudy here. I was so excited to hear my dear Rudy's voice on the radio that I missed your special message. Did you say that God loves cheese or God loves me? What does God love, my friends? That's correct, Mrs. Rudy. God loves you and me. That's why he sent Jesus at Christmas time to be our Savior. Have a jolly day, Mrs. Rudy. I just love it when our listeners give us a ring. Well, we made it. It's time to go. Listen to your moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas and aunts and uncles, and they will help you this week to remember that God loves you and me. I hope you have a jolly holiday today, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.